Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. This video is a jewelry haul. Um, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I offer a monthly jewelry subscription program where every month on the first or usually the second of the month, I mail out um, a six piece curated hand-picked jewelry box to my members. And it consists of um, mostly name brand pieces, you know, signed pieces. If it's not name brand, it's, you know, worth it in some other way for $30. Um, shipping's included, so that's $5 a piece. And you guys can choose to resell it or keep it or both. Um, it's U.S. only. And so what this jewelry is, is the majority of, well, let me back up. The majority of the jewelry that I handpick for these boxes, I purchase in lots online, which is pretty obvious. Um, I do not really find much of the jewelry out in the wild because like I've said in the past, my thrift stores do not really carry any jewelry um, except for the savers, but that's about an, almost an hour away and I don't usually get there very often, maybe once or maybe like twice a month. Um, so basically I buy lots of jewelry and I go through them throughout the month and pull pieces that are worthy of my subscription boxes. And this is a good portion of what didn't make the cut, but it's still good jewelry. So there's going to be some nice pieces in here. There's still name brand pieces. There's still, you know, fun pieces. It's just, I like to have like a little bit of a variety in my subscription boxes. So um, we're going to go through this together. I obviously know what all of this jewelry is, but I'm going to be selling it. And if you're interested in purchasing any of it, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is always in the description box. And check that sold list that I have pinned in the comments before emailing me. It just helps with the amount of emails that I get and the back and forth with people and it's a lot of confusion sometimes. So I like to keep things simple and um, shipping is $5 under a pound. Um, I do ship international and over a pound or international goes by the weight and your location. Um, please give me a timestamp or screenshot I prefer timestamp of the items that you would like and your PayPal email and mailing address if you have not bought from me before. Okay, so with that long three minute introduction that I hope you guys listened to and didn't skip, <laughs> we can start with this pretty piece. This is um, stones. These are natural stones. Maybe some agate and carnelian in there. Um, it has this really pretty clasp. Let me move over a little bit. There is a little bit of wear to it. Um, overall, it's in nice condition. There's a little bit of wear. I don't know if it's wear because it's on all of them. See how like the middle of these beads are a little bit more silver? But it's on all of them like that. So I'm really not sure if it's supposed to be like that or what. But anywho, I will give a measurement. It is 12 and a half inches, wearable length, really pretty fall colors. We will do $7. Let's stick with some of the natural stone here. I believe this to be red jasper. Really nice, long infinity necklace, no clasp. Hand knotted in between, 17 inch wearable length. Um, let's do eight on that. This is really cool. This is, I think, I wanna say this is glass, like a frosted glass and then stone beads but I'm not quite sure on that but that would be my guess I think it's really pretty you know what 
I didn't even check this. This might be a sterling clasp, let's see. No, okay. So really pretty blues. And then in between we have these rondelles. Oh, we're missing a stone there. Darn, I thought I checked these. Okay, so there's one missing stone. I think, hopefully that was it. Yeah. All right, so there's one missing rhinestone. It is an 11 and a half inch, 11 and a half inch wearable length. Really unique piece. Let's do, um, I was gonna ask 10, but there's one missing stone, so let's do eight. Oops, I thought I fixed this. Okay, so this just has to be reattached and um, uh, the pliers tighten it. So hang on, I'll do that right now. There we go. Because this is Coro. And I think these are like a thermoset bead. Pretty cool. Again, nice fall colors. It does have an extender, hook closure or hook clasp. I'll give a total length on this one. It goes from 16 inches to 19 inches total length. Um, we are going to do Let's do 14 on this one. It's in really nice condition. There's some, there's just a little slight wear where all these connect, but I really like this piece. Good piece for a collection also. Okay, then we have this one. This is on a no brand, but it's in great shape. It's triple strand, and it's got some gold tone rings, these like ambery orange swirl rings, and we have one that's like, or I should say discs, and we have one that's half with white. So I think that's really cool. It does have an extender, but we're gonna measure it on the shortest wearable length, which is about nine and a half inches and can go longer. So let's do five on that one. We have this, which the tag doesn't have any maker mark on it, but it's a gold tone chain with a heart and some clear rhinestones, very pretty. Um, hold on, there's a kink in it. And then I'll get the measurement. There is a, there is an extender, but we are going to measure it on the shortest length, which is 10 inch wearable, can go longer. We'll do five on that one too. This one was really cool. This almost reminded me of a Chico's with the black seed beads. It is no maker, but a really nice statement necklace. Shortest wearable length is seven inches to the pendant and then it goes to 11 inches if you include the pendant and it can go longer with that extender. So really nice, it's like a silver antique uh, tone metal. Um, let's do six on that one. This, I think this is leopard skin jasper. Really nice, feels nice. Uh, no clasp, hand knotted in between. 15 and a half inch wearable. 
Love it. Let's do 12 on that one. That's really nice. This didn't have, oh wait, oh no, this didn't have a maker, but it had the patent number on there. And I think these are just plastic red beads with the little gold ones in between. 11 and a half inch wearable length. Really nice and clean. Do six bucks. This is a black and clear and silver beaded Leah Sophia necklace with this really cool medallion uh, pendant. There is, oh no, sorry, this one was Cookie Lee. This is Cookie Lee. And I'll give you a measurement. Five and a half, in, right? Yeah, five and a half inches but it can go longer. So this is gonna be a nice collar necklace. So we'll do um, six bucks for the Cookie Lee. This one's cool, this is silver tone. It has like a whitish black and gray um, triangle here. It has um, a maker mark I'm not familiar with. I guess it's just an S. So if anyone knows what that might be, drop it in the comments. Wearable length. Shortest is 10 inches to the pendant. Can go longer. Do five on that. This one is Liz Claiborne. It is a silver tone with these really pretty stations of, um, got some abalone, you got this like, I don't know, it's, I guess it's kind of like an abalone as well. Black, so really pretty. There is some light overall wear to the necklace, but I think it's really pretty and a wearable length, seven and a half inches and can go longer. Um, we'll do five on that just because of the light overall wear, but I still think it is wearable. <laughs> this one is marked NRT, which I believe is an Avon brand. And it's a long, wait, did this one have, I thought one of these had a missing stone, or I might have put that one, I might have took that one out already. Okay, I think this one's good. So this is a long necklace with some black and gray and these really cool rhinestone balls. It is long. It does have an extender, but the shortest wearable length is 17 inches. Can go longer. Um, five bucks. Okay, this one is Brighton. Um, I did not put this one in my mystery subscription box because it's got a little bit of wear on the sides here, and I do not put anything in my boxes that have any wear. Um, like I said, it's very particular, like hand picked, curated pieces. <laughs> I am super picky with the pieces I put in there. Um, so this one did not make the cut and it's got some like stuff in there. I have to still clean that out. So um, don't be alarmed. But it is one of those lanyard things for, you know, your job for like an ID or something. The front and the back look fine. It's just the sides and the the inside there have to be cleaned. Really pretty rope chain. And then you have the Brighton B and your extender. So the shortest 
length, where did my measure go? Sits at 15 and a half inches and can go longer. So because of the wear on this one, um, I'm just going to ask $8. So that's a pretty good deal still. <laughs> okay. How's the weather by you guys? Right now in New York, it is pouring rain. It's been pouring since last night. And um, yeah, it's just miserable. I did not go to the post office today. So if you guys ordered anything, I usually go to the post office every day, but I did not go today. So orders will go out tomorrow if you ordered anything to be shipped yesterday. So I apologize, but it is downpouring and I do not feel like going out in that. Okay. So here is this next necklace. It's really pretty. It's hard to show because it's so big, but it's got these really pretty flowers at the top with um, like silver faux pearls, uh, blue plastic beads. You got some pink faux pearls. You got these other pink faceted, got some wood and I'll show you the bottom. It's layered and it has different lengths. And it also has an extender. Well, actually, the type of chain this is, you can really clip it anywhere. And there's some light wear to the chain, but it's an overall in really nice condition. So the length that it sits at without making it smaller. So the, the longest length is going to be 16 inches wearable. And then you can take this and kind of put it wherever to make it shorter. So this is really cool. We're gonna do $8 on this one. This is a long wooden necklace with these, I guess they're plastic blue beads. Really nice for the fall. I love the contrast with the blue. Oops. It's an 18 inch wearable length. Very lightweight, uh, $5. This one is an NRT, I mean NWT, which I think is, again, a um, Avon brand. It's just a gold tone and clear bezel set stone necklace. They're plastic, they're not glass or anything. Um, shortest wearable length is eight inches, can go longer. Very pretty. This can dress up something or dress down something. You can wear this with, you know, a dress and heels or throw on a, you know, white t-shirt or black t-shirt and jeans. So really cute. Um, did I get a price on that? We'll do $6. All right, I'm gonna dump out the rest of this bag. Okay, these are plastic or probably like an acrylic earrings and matching um, stretchy. These are for pierced ears. These have Avon backs on them, so I'm not sure if it really is Avon, but we'll go with it and say these are Avon earrings. We will do five and um, three on the bracelet. Make sure you guys check out that sold list that I have pinned in the comments section before you email me. And all my information is always in the description box. My email is another chance to resale one at gmail.com. Please include timestamps uh, with a description of which items you would like. Payment is due immediately. I can hold items for the week, um, but you just have to pay for the items. And then at the end of the week, I will tally up the shipping and charge shipping and ship. So if you'd like me to do that, please let me know in the email as well. Okay, so um, this is just an acrylic necklace with like an amber color bead here. Really pretty. Eight inch wearable. You guys are gonna make me check for amber. I don't think so. 
Um, so we are going to do $8 on this. It's in really nice condition. Beautiful color for the fall. Here is a wood bangle. Kind of cool, right? It's about seven and a half inch circumference. We'll do four bucks. All right, we got some stretchies, so let me take them all out. All right, so we have this one. We have this one, plastic and wood. These are plastic. These, I don't know if these are real stones. I don't think so. None of this feels cold. I think these are all plastic or like an acrylic. This one's a double. So we're going to do two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, five dollars. Okay. Then we have these earrings. These are Baribi, Bar Barebi. I've sold this brand before. They do pretty well. It's a vintage brand. Um, there is a little flaw, and that's why I didn't keep it for my subscription boxes right here. There's like a teeny little dent in the metal right there, if you can see that. Um, if it didn't have that dent, you can probably sell these on eBay for like 25 bucks. And there's some light scratches on this one. I mean, it's nothing serious. Like if you were to wear these, you're probably not even gonna notice. So I will just ask $4 on these, but they are signed, so they're pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. We have a cameo brooch or pendant. Not bad. We'll do five bucks. Um, art, gla art glass pendant, four bucks. This is Leah Sophia. like a gunmetal with this beautiful blue. There is a light scratch right there. So we'll just ask, let me get a measurement. We'll just ask $4 on this one. And the shortest length is a seven inch wearable, can go longer. These are Sarah Coventry earrings but they've got some like fading on them I'm really not sure what's going on so I'll just ask two dollars on these clip-ons these are clip-ons as well no maker mark pretty though we'll do three dollars I have this um, rhinestone silver tone heart brooch three dollars a little horsey pendant I don't believe this to be sterling but let's just see yeah I don't think so nope so for the little horsey pendant I will ask four bucks. This is an Avon pin, a little partridge in a pear tree. Now, I don't know what that really is, but that's what it looks like to me. Avon, the little circle with the dot in the middle is Avon's other mark, $4. These are pretty lightweight silver tone earrings with some blues good condition. We'll do three on those. And I have all these angel earrings. Um, we have three, three pairs. They're all silver tone with the clear bead. 
beads, I should say. So we'll just do $2 a set. We have this little um, mama and baby turtle with the different color rhinestones on her back. Silver tone, really cute. Five bucks. We have a butterfly gold tone stick pin. Four bucks. This is a 1928 brand. They always do that swirl pattern on the back. Uh, there is a little bit of a bend in the pin, but this is really pretty. It's like almost a mother of pearl bead. Cabochon. There is a little dark mark on this. See it right there? So we'll just do three on that. Let's go into another bag. Ooh wee. We have this pretty cool bracelet. It's like a um, acrylic piece with a, um, a key silver tone and then look at the back has a fortune that says never quit the key to success so I thought that was pretty cute it has a lobster clasp let's get a measure I would say it's seven and a half and we'll do seven on it it's pretty cool Oh, I should have told you guys, if you're interested in the in joining the subscription service, I'll put the link in the description box. That was silly of me. Um, I'm going to get, this week I'm working on getting November's boxes together so that early next week I can mail those out. But no matter when you join, you get charged. So I send you the box that, you know, like the next day. Um... So if you want to do it now, you'll get your October box, and then November 1st, you'll get your November box. Or if you want to wait till November 1st, then, you know, that's fine too. Um, and make sure, the instructions are on the website, but make sure you give me your mailing address. Um, when you sign up, you'll be able to message me. Um, otherwise, I don't know where to send it. <laughs> Unless you're a returning customer, then I'll know. Okay, anyway... So there's, the link will be in the description box to check that out. This is a Victoria's Secret. I think it's like a rose gold. It's not in bad condition, but there's just a little bit of wear around the clasp, the toggle. Um, seven and a half inch length. Uh, five bucks. Okay, so... This is a Lucky Brand watch, and it does work. I had my husband change out the battery. However, there is some wear, so I think it's pretty cool, but there is some wear on the link here, and a little bit around the face and a little bit here, but mostly on that one link. I guess somebody put their hand down, you know, on that side a lot. But I think it's really cool. And it's in pretty pretty decent shape, except for that the one link there is pretty bad. But I think it's still worthy to for somebody to wear. So I'm gonna ask eight dollars. These necklaces are always so cool. It's unbranded, but it's like a watch band necklace really nice collar necklace it's gonna sit at the base of your throat and look really nice it's gold tone it's in nice condition i'll give you a total length 18 inches and let's do six bucks this is a lucky brand cuff it's got a sand dollar and a little like triangle cabochon it's like an antiqued gold tone it's just bent a little a little funny um, but other than that it's really nice 
It's about a seven inch circumference. And let's do five. This is Chico's. And there is a, a little bit of wear to the silver tone balls, I guess from them all hitting each other. I really am not sure. But, um, and there is a little bit of wear to the heart. But silver tone, really cute, seven inch length, and we'll just do five on it. Then we have some J. Crew earrings. These um, just have very light wear to the center um, rhinestone, but they are marked on the back. And there's a little mark right there. So I'm just gonna ask four dollars. This is cute. This is a like a antique gold tone feather. It's by Lucky Brand. But each of the see, I don't know. I kind of think sometimes that this brand does this wear on purpose. Because all these little gold tone square things are have wear to them. So I almost want to say it's supposed to be like that, but I'm not sure. But the length on it is 15 and a half inch wearable. And I'm just going to ask five. Now this I want to say is Brighton. So it's a leather strap with this heart the arrow is the toggle which is super cute the inside only has that b which does look like the brighton b so i think it's really cute it's about a seven inch length <clears throat> i'll ask um six bucks <clears throat> this one's cool um mesh silver mesh we have some uh gold tone links extender but we're gonna try it on the shortest length which is seven and a half inch wearable can go longer this would look really nice on new year's eve coming up so let's do six dollars we have this it's unbranded it is a square clamper bangle with some calf hair cheetah print pretty good condition there's some slight wear in that corner there and some very light scratching but it's a seven inch circumference and we're gonna do a five bucks we have this ring a little butterfly and some faux pearls and rhinestones it's got a little bit of wear to the shank over here, which is pretty normal. There's no markings. It is a size eight. And we'll do $4. Oh, and I'm looking at it closer. There's some wear to the faux pearls. All right, we'll do three on it. Okay, here are a pair of earrings. These are like a silver tone chain link, really cute for pierced ears. I will get actual backs if someone purchases them and we'll do $4. These, these are not good. Let me put those in craft. We have these pretty rhinestone dangles. I'll get matching backs. Do three dollars. I have a scarab necklace, guys. So, this is a ceramic, I believe. That sticker won't come off of me. 
Jeez, get off. So we have like, um, I guess they're like a stone or ceramic little beads with all the satellite scarabs. It's on a string, like a rope. Really cool. I love scarab jewelry and I almost kept this for me, but I have one very similar. And then you got the big mama down here. Very cool. And I'm going to, well, let's get a measurement. 17 inch wearable. I wouldn't actually wear this though because it seems very delicate. But this is just nice for someone's collection. And I'm gonna ask 10. All right, we have one little bag and then one other bag. And we are done. So make sure you guys are checking out that sold list pinned in the comment section. Click the thumbs up if you like videos like this. <laughs> um, here's a JJ. Gold tone, perfect for a teacher or maybe a lawyer or anybody that sits at a desk, a secretary. So for the JJ desk brooch, let's do five bucks. We have this cool clown. I think clowns are cool. They're not scary. Uh, five bucks. Here's a nice vintage uh, rhinestone brooch. We'll do four. These cool blue enamel and gold tone boots. It's also a pendant. Five. We have this transferware rose gold tone brooch. It's by 1928. See those swirlies on the back? So this will be $5. We have a really pretty gold tone locket brooch with like a transferware needle point. This is by 1928 as well. $5. We have this cool clown. He looks like a clock. <laughs> $5. Let's see what we got in this bag, shall we? Here's a nice big clamp clamper bracelet. It's got some wear to the interior and like around the edges, but I think it's still cool. say this is about a seven inch circumference we'll just do five this is definitely a stone I think this is a type of agate is it that Montana agate I forget what that one looks like um I think the class might need might need to be bent a little bit but this is really pretty Seven inch wearable, nice collar necklace. Look at that. Um, eight bucks. We have a, hmm, is this maybe like a celluloid? Peachy pink with faux pearls. Gold tone bracelet, seven inch length, seven dollars. This is, it's like a gold tone, but it's almost like washed. Like it's like, it's like in the middle of a gold tone and silver tone. You guys ever see something like that? So I think it's maybe just like a faded gold tone, but it has these really big baguettes, which is really cool. So let's do a shortest length, six and a half inches or nine inch wearable. Really cool. We'll do six on that one. We have this gold tone metal rose bracelet with these little rhinestones in each one. 
Don't see a maker mark on this one. The length is seven and a half. Let's do six dollars. We have this brooch, transferware. No, actually this is hand painted. That's hand painted and it says NG. That's really cool, pendant or brooch. Let's do six on that one. That one's a little special. We have a two strand faux pearl. Oops, there's something. That one's peeling, so that will go into craft. All craft items are a dollar. Here's a gold tone, really nice, simple bracelet. Seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter inch length. We'll do five. La 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 la. This one doesn't have a maker. It's like a wire necklace. It has a really pretty red leaf. Oh, it does have a maker. It says KC. So it's pretty with some purple and red and silver beads up top. Without the extender, it's about a six inch wearable length. It can go longer. We'll do five on that. This is Napier. <clears throat> it's got this one little brown mark on it, but the rest looks okay. Actually, there's a little bit of wear to that one, but other than that, we're good. It does have an extender. Right now, it's sitting at six inch wearable and can go longer. Um, we'll do six on that. Here's a brooch. It says, made in Germany West. It's pretty interesting. A black stone with rhinestones. You can see how that pokes out a little bit. It's usually an indicator that it's pretty old. So let's do eight on this one. This is Casual Corner. It's like a matte gold tone, long necklace. And I don't know what happened here. I don't know if that's supposed to be pink like that or why that happened. But we're just gonna do um, $3 on this one. Super long. Have a gold tone bracelet. This is a Lisner. However, there is wear like in between each little link, I guess you can say. Seven and a half inch length. We'll do $8. It's really not bad overall, but like I said, with my subscription boxes, I'm very particular. Okay, this is a gold tone necklace with all these little, these look like little um, pomegranate seeds. <laughs> we have some purple, some pink, some faux pearl. So really pretty. Uh, it's got this like wavy link uh, chain. 15 inch wearable. Let's just do five on that one. Okay, this one is really pretty. Was there a clasp on this one? No, I don't see one, okay. So these are really pretty beads. It's got these like stone beads in between and I think they're glass, like look at that one. Or that one, how pretty. And then these pieces are, you know, clear on one side and it has the silver on the other. So this is really nice. 
and it's a wearable length of 17 inches. It does have a little bit of weight to it. Um, so I'm just going to ask, I'm actually going to ask 10 on this one. This one's really nice. Look at that striping. That's probably an agate. It's really pretty. All right, we have a ring. Gold tone. You know what, I'll turn on Pressy and see what that stone is. Let's hang on to that. Then I have this ring. This looks like a leopard skin jasper, but I'm not quite sure on that. But it's silver tone. This might be like silver plated. Let me see if it's, because if it's actually silver, it's going to change the price. No. Okay. So this one is adjustable. So it can fit anybody. And we're going to do $7 on that. And then let's check what this is. All right, it's glass. It's glass and, oh, it does say something on the inside. I think it's um, electroplated. Yeah, it's 18 karat uh, gold electroplate. It's about an eight and three fourths. Let's do eight on it. It's a nice condition. All right, now we have, we're gonna finish off with some brooches. Oh wait, I have a pair of earrings. Oops, forgot those. So these are really cool. They're like a brass tone. Like Victorian style earrings for pierced ears. I don't know what that maker mark is, but we're gonna do five bucks. All right, we have a Chico's brand new with tag brooch. Um, we'll do $5. A little peacock, um, $5. Here's another JJ. Aw, nurses make it better. $5. This one, ooh, that's pretty with some abalone. $5. <laughs> Here's a mushroom that's really pretty with the enamel. $5. Ooh, this one's cool. This is like an art deco. It almost looks like a mask. And he's holding like two pitchfork type of things. Ha, that's kind of cool. Um, $5. <laughs> Here's a really pretty pineapple brooch. It looks like there's a little bit of wear on that leaf there. But we'll do five. We have a little Scotty dog with a rhinestone bow and eye. $5. The zebra, I mean, <laughs> giraffe pin. Oh, I think he's marked. Oh, this is JJ too. So we'll do $5 then since it's JJ. And I left this guy for last because I thought he was cool. No marking, but he kind of looks like a sage. A sagin? No. What's that one I'm thinking of? Oh, geez. You hear my TV for the winter, winter, uh, storm warning. Um, we'll do six on this one. All right, guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. Press that thumbs up for me. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.